Hello everyone, all who are in one body of Christ. Our soul welcomes to the still that has given us together. Today I'm meditating upon. Time to take our faith stronger by our prayers. Before we start, let's see what Scripture talks about in this topic. Hebrews chapter 11 verse 6. And without faith, it is impossible to please him. For whoever would draw near to God must believe that he exists and that he rewards those who seek him. Now let us see what we can learn from the verse you just read. This last Sunday when I was in church worshiping, One strong thought came into my mind. We must strengthen our faith, and immediately after that, the second thought was, I must strengthen my faith. It was a voice I have coming from my inside. Your faith is like your strong muscles. You make them stronger by flexing them hard to make them stronger, pushing them to be stronger and in shape. More you push them, stronger they become. So train your faith in a similar way. This morning when I... When I was writing during my devotional time, the devotional I was reading was trying to say it out loud to me. Make your faith stronger. Change your prayer mode from orig- ordinary to stronger. It's time to change my prayer. It's time to ab- abandon the safe, comfortable, predictable, and easy to pray prayers. It's time to pray with courage. To risk to open myself up to a different path, to a better destination. It's time to start praying dangerous prayers. It's time to be disturbed. If I truly want to make a difference on the earth, I need power from heaven. If I want my life to matter, it's time to pray big, bold, audacious prayers. It is time to seek God with the bigger and stronger time to defeat the enemy of fear. It's time for me to refuse the fear of failure. It's time to venture out. It's time to trust. It's time to dare. It's time to believe stronger than ever before. My life won't feel the same way. It used to. And it will take faith. But without faith, it's impossible to please God. So today, I declare you to exercise your faith in every prayer you do. Not as winning a child, but as an obedient child asking my Abba, Father, to fulfill me from the inside that my faith will be shown to people around me to bring glory to his name. So from today, I declare that I will no longer be praying ordinarily. Instead, my prayers will be a declaration to my enemy that he has no power over my prayers. My prayers will be powerful to show his power and bring glory to his name. Today, I declare to exercise my faith through him. So if you are reading or listening to this message, this real experience devotional, I encourage you to step aside for a moment from whatever you are doing and go into prayer and ask God to help you to make your faith be stronger through the prayers. I also encourage you to come out of the traditional and ordinary prayers and practice prayer as a declaration over your enemy, claiming that all God has given you under this as your dominion. Exercise your faith to glorify his name through prayer. This message also gives promise right here today. The promise is, and those who know your name will put trust in you. For you, O Lord, have not forsaken those who seek you. Let's close time in prayer together. Please join me in this prayer. Dear Lord, Heavenly Father, mighty, wonderful God, Lord, thank you for this revelation you have given me to making me more stronger, preparing me to do glory to your name. Help me in this journey of faith so that I can do all that in pleasing your eyes, bringing glory to you. Make my faith stronger to declare, to snatch all that my enemy can claim. I submit myself to be used to receive all that you have planned for me. In Jesus' holy name I pray, amen. Have a blessed day, everyone. If God's going to talk to you tomorrow.